instructional video. It's going to be um, about sumo wrestling or the sport of sumo wrestling. Um, sumo wrestling first originated in Japan. Um, it was actually a ritual, well, it was a religious ritual um, from the Shinto religion. So uh, the Japanese folk, they would um, perform dancing, sumo wrestling. Not, not necessarily sumo wrestling, but the stomping involved in sumo wrestling, and also um, different types of song and um, prayer during these rituals. Um, so during the ritual, when the individuals would stomp, um, it was thought to waken the Shinto gods and um, let them know that they were ready for a plentiful harvest. Um, nowadays, during sumo wrestling, during the actual bouts, when the uh, wrestlers stomp, they're really just kind of, I guess, trying to rid of evil spirits from the ring. Or at least that's the information that I uh, looked up or researched. Um, sumo wrestling can be t defined as a Japanese form of heavyweight wrestling. Um, it is not a team sport, it's an individual sport. It's usually just two on two. Well, it is just a two on two sport. Um, bouts consist of two individuals. Um, an individual wins by forcing their opponent out of the ring or forcing their opponent to touch the ground with any part of their body besides um, the heels of their feet. So if you fall down and you go to catch yourself with your hand, you're out. Or I guess it's a loss. Sumo wrestling is the most beloved sport in Japan. There's only uh, six tournaments per year, but the tournaments are 15 days long. Like the beginning of the bout, or the bout is like the beginning of the ring or wrestling. The beginning of the actual wrestling, like the sumo wrestlers come out, they do their little ritual or whatever they do, I don't know. Um, and then they toss salt onto the um, clay. So the, the ring is made of clay and it's covered with a thin layer of sand. And they, um, you'll see them, they, they grab sand, a handful of sand, and they, or not sand, but salt, and they toss it out onto the um, ring. And it's thought to, um, I guess, summon the, the Shinto gods as well. Um, let me see. So typically, a bout is less than a minute long. I guess the maximum is around maybe three minutes. Um, to be honest, it's really just a fast-paced type of thing. You kind of just start off and then you, I don't know, it just, it's not very long. It's, like I said, a duration of at least one to two minutes. Um, so sumo wrestlers, because it's an individual sport, um, there's a, a ranking system. Excuse me. And um, so your rank depends on your wins and loss total. So if you are of a lower rank, um, you obviously have a losing record, and if you're of a higher rank, you have a higher record. So like I said, there's only six tournaments per year, and they last 15 days. So if you're of a higher rank, it's because um, you have a winning record of at least eight and seven. So you, you wrestle at, you, you wrestle each day of the tournament, and you have to win eight out of the 15 total uh, matches. And if you're of a lower division, um, a ranking, you only wrestle seven days of the tournament, and you have to have a winning record of at least four. Uh, let's see. So sumo wrestling can be compared to grappling here in the U.S. Um, action or action that's allowed within the ring are um, things such as striking with an open hand, slapping, pushing shoving, um, takedown or throwdown. So an if you're strong enough, you can pick up your opponent and slam them down to the ground. Uh, actions that are not allowed are striking with a closed fist, um, hitting below the belt, punching in the stomach or chest, choking, kicking, pulling hair, and eye gouging. 
Okay, so now um, I'm gonna bring up my volunteer. And luckily, oh, one more thing. Um, there's a, where the sumo wrestlers fight, it's called a doya. Uh, it's 18 feet in um, total diameter, but the ring is actually only 15 feet that they um, bite in, it's only 15 feet wide. So yeah, luckily, uh, my volunteer, she is a basketball player, so she's used to being in the squatting position, and with sumo wrestling, um, being, having your center of mass low to the ground and being in the squatting position is pretty much an advantage for any, but any size, it doesn't really matter, but mostly for the smaller size individuals. Um, so we're going to have Kelsey just get down in the squatted position. She's going to have her hands out in front of her. And this is how they start the bout, pretty much. Um, you can stand up now. So the individual, so you say go, and you're starting from the squatted position, and it's basically just like football. You're trying to either grab your opponent, like right here, by their armpits, I guess, or like kind of their collar, or basically, it doesn't really matter how you grab them because there's no like, say like, oh, you can't grab them like this, you can't grab them like that. It's any, any type of um, action as long as it's not an illegal action. So if Kelsey was down in the squatting position and the referee said go, she would just try to move and excel as quickly as she could up and try to push my body out. So, but we're not gonna do that because it's kind of <laughs> dangerous. Um, but once it gets going, uh, it's pretty much just kind of who's stronger than the other. So even though Kelsey's shorter than me, she's that, 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 not, that doesn't necessarily mean that she's not stronger than me. Um, but speed is another thing. If Kelsey is fast enough, she could probably knock me out of the ring just um, by her ability to move her feet faster than I can. Um, hand, hand movements. Uh, like I said, the bouts usually only last about a minute. So. Yeah, that's about it as far as the instructional part of my video goes. Uh, only thing I guess I have to add about information about sumo wrestling, um, weight is a factor, I guess. If, once you get up into the higher divisions, um, usually weight becomes a factor. Um, the sumo wrestlers eat a fatty diet that contains, uh, there, there's a there's soup called shakunabi soup and it contains um, three different types of meat that are high in fat, such as like pork, beef, and perhaps, I don't know, chicken or something. And then several different vegetables. Um, and also the weight training, a weight training program, like you have to have some muscle mass in order to um, defeat your opponent. So I guess a, a, high, a high fat diet and a good, um, a good strength training program is what you'll need to be successful. And that is the end of my video.